with teams gotten better each week that you've been putting some interesting scenarios already. Do you mm-hmm. feel like maybe a recent memory, this is the best suited you've been to push a program like Nebraska at this point in the season? Uh, you know, I, I people that know me, I have a really short memory on things like this, so it's hard for me to compare. Um, I know that Nebraska is really talented. This is a very good Nebraska team. Um, you know, especially from a defensive standpoint, their blocking is really impressive in backcourt. We're going to have to, um, you know, play some great volleyball. I do think we've continued to br- progress in each match. We've played a, you know, a pretty rigorous non-conference schedule to prepare us. Um, you know, but we're looking forward to playing a, you know, a top five program and, um, you know, it should be good volleyball. I hope on both sides. You have to do in the next 24 or 30 hours. I don't know. mass off on that. To prepare yourself or to for the players who prepare themselves psychologically for the atmosphere they're going to have to execute in tomorrow night? Yeah, I don't, you know, I, I think we've got players that have played in a lot of big environments already. Um, so not only this year, but in the past. So I don't know if it's anything, you know, we'll talk about that it's going to be a loud environment. You know, we talked about that with the Purdue match. Purdue had a really aggressive student section. So we discussed being prepared for people that are screaming you Nebraska is probably not going to have that but they're going to just be loud I mean when they get down the crowd just gets loud so we'll discuss being prepared for that but I think you know like most athletes they relish it Uh, if it's for them or against them it's a pretty cool atmosphere so you know we'll have some specific things that we're working on in the gym to prepare like we would against any team that we think you know we need to do to be successful but it's a really quick turnaround you know we were off yesterday we don't want to go real heavy today, so we'll, you know, use our reps. I told the coaches their hitters get about 20 reps, so it's not a lot of reps right now. Um, it's going to be just talking to them about things that we think we can do. In the last four or five years, you've been able to push Nebraska to five set. You think this is the best era for this matchup? You know, uh, again, I, you know, I just kind of go into each match. It's It's a great team, you know, and – we want to go compete. We want to win. They want to win. I mean, that's what you do at this stage. And, um, you know, again, uh, I think I think a lot of other people remember the years prior. I would guess Coach Cook, Cook and I are just really focused on this year's group and trying to make our teams the best that we can be. How important is, you know, first contact? To, to, I know it's always important, but when you're facing a team that can do all the mm-hmm. things that aren't always showing up on the stat sheet very well and bring physicality at you, you're not serving tough or if you're not handling okay. cases. Like how important are those components of the game to Melon right? Yeah, I think first contacts will be huge, uh, really for both teams. But yeah, from our standpoint, um, they're so physical in all positions. So if they're in system, it's a pretty difficult team to stop. And then they're a really good serving team. So we've got to be in system because their block is so formidable. If they know where we're going, we're going to have some problems. So uh, there's no question that I think first contacts are huge. I will say, I mean, I think you know this from past, usually the top of our scouting report is first contacts against anyone are going to be key to success, but no different tomorrow night. Anything else? Just in a, I know a potential win you need, obviously a, a big deal it would be in a cross-state rival, but how much are you ever deciding that this would be the second win against one of the better scenes in the Big Ten, and, and how much would that mean for where your program is right now? Well, I think right now it's all about our resume. So, you know, we want to notch top 25 wins. Um, so, you know, we always, again, we talk about resume builders, resume killers. Well, this would be a builder. It's not, if we lose to Nebraska, it doesn't hurt our resume. What it does is catapults our resume. So we'll talk about that in that sense. We, you know, we've talked about a couple teams that way already this fall of this has the potential to be a top 25 win um, uh, or a loss that could bite us a little bit. You know, I think, I think Iowa State later this week has the potential to be a top 25 uh, matchup. So, you know, that's the kind of the way that we talk about those things. You know, I think we don't have a ton of Nebraska kids on our team right now, but we do have some. And so there's and and obviously everyone on our our team respects what the Nebraska program is and the draw that they have. So there's energy because of that. Anytime you're playing in front of a big crowd and especially for our local players, you know, playing a lot of their friends, you know, Norris and Lindsey Krause are best friends. So there's dynamics there that are pretty cool and fun. Um, but I, I truly like I love the fact that uh, we've got so many regional kids playing on the same court. And I think it really is, um, you know, just a testament of how high quality of the volleyball is in this state. Your thoughts on last week and volleyball day and all that you touch on before, but yeah. Well, I didn't see it. Or, I mean, 
<laughs> well, I, was, I was at the chicks. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I said, I didn't go, but what everyone said was that it was a really first class event. And I think it is huge for not only women's volleyball, but women's athletics to be able to. And I think in hindsight, they didn't need the concert. I think that's what they learned is that the concert was an add on. I'm sure when they were formulating the idea, they wanted to make sure that they could get 50, 60,000 people in there. Maybe the concert would help when in fact, I think they sold out without knowledge of who was even playing. So you know, um, it's it's a testament to what the University of Nebraska has done in the sport of volleyball, but also how big volleyball is in the state and support of women's athletics in general. No. What did you get better at from last week to this? I think we're starting to find our identity a little bit. Um, I think we have to play, play with more of an edge. Um, and so that was big and I know it might not seem like a big deal, but it kind of was a big deal in our locker room and the way that we were talking to each other and expectations for each other. Um, so that was big. And then, um, I still think our connection needs to get better. I mean, I was watching film yesterday and saying, you know, we're doing some good things. We're tenacious. I think our first contacts at times are really good. Um, but we still have a long way to go to be as clean as I think we need to be. You mentioned that's big. What? What is the ripple effect with figuring out your identity at any point in the season? Like, what changes about a team's dynamic than say, no, how they handle a situation? Well, I think, you know, how you speak to each other, and this is a really close knit group. Um, so, you know, just having a little bit more edge, not in a negative way, but in a competitive spirit sort of way. Um, so, I think those have been things that we've talked about. Uh, and I think I've led it in a, a way that, maybe wasn't the best for this group. So, you know, I talked to them about me being a little bit different on how we, you know, what our demeanor is, what we're doing at timeouts, what we're doing between games. Um, so, I mean, it, nothing that anyone else is going to see, but I think the feel is a little bit different on the court. It was joy as a win game sets in there. Do you, do you share that or others? Was A or say that Ellis? Uh, anyway, I, I am a firm believer that joy is part of success. So yes, I, I, and I think if you asked Ellie, Ellie would say joy is part of it, but her point of winning is joy. I also agree because losing is not fun. So I, I think anytime you're enjoying something, I mean, think of this in any career. If you like what you're doing, you're going to work harder and be better at it. And so we want to cultivate an environment at Creighton Volleyball that they love what they're doing and they love it so much. They want to work their tail off. They want to eat right. They want to sleep right. So that's what we're trying to cultivate. Um, but sometimes those things are hard, right? And so it's not always joyful in the moment. So the winning is the byproduct of doing those things.